Well, uh, ALK and ROS1 are uh, two of uh, several different um, molecular aberrations that we now see in lung cancer, particularly adenocarcinoma, in fact, almost exclusively adenocarcinoma. Unlike EGFR, unlike KRAS, unlike BRAF, these are not mutations, but actually gene rearrangements. So the use of the word mutation is probably erroneous. Nevertheless, uh, these are oncogenic drivers uh, that are found typically in uh, younger patients, never smokers, uh, folks with uh, adenocarcinoma, as I've uh, indicated. No particular ethnic uh, um, preference, whether it's East Asia or Caucasians, unlike uh, EGFR, where it's much more common in uh, uh, East Asian population. And uh, these uh, individuals with cancers that harbor these molecular aberrations are exquisitely sensitive to oral agents, to TKIs that have uh, been developed in the clinic really just over the past six to seven years. Um, patients with uh, either ALK rearrangements or ROS1 uh, rearrangements are typically a bit younger, uh, median age in the 50 to 55 range, unlike our typical cancer population where the median age on uh, clinical trials is 62 to 70. Uh, almost always never smokers, or if they smoked in the past, they're remote former smokers. And as we've seen with uh, uh, many of these uh, oncogenic drivers, uh, there's very little overlap. You, uh, the, 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 the presence of one driver uh, is almost mutually exclusive with other drivers until we start seeing some degree of uh, 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 clinical resistance over time. So um, from a historical standpoint, uh, ALK wasn't even on our radar uh, until about 2009, 2010. I had not personally even heard of ALK rearrangements. Uh, some of the initial work was done by Alice Shaw and uh, Ronnie Mera uh, from uh, MGH and at that time Fox Chase respectively. And uh, it was clear that uh, an inhibitor, uh, uh, inhibitor actually, uh, crizotinib, had activity in ALK rearranged uh, non-small cell. The initial response rates were quite high uh, in the uh, 55, 60-65% range. Uh, toxicities were uh, easily managed, uh, some degree of uh, dyskusia, some GI toxicity, some rash, um, peculiar visual alterations with scintillations and trouble with the uh, light-dark accommodation that typically lasted no more than 15, 20, 30 minutes and um, uh, uh, generally went away at that point. Uh, the responses uh, were often quite durable. The median duration of response to initial crizotinib was, uh, initial studies of crizotinib about 10 months, later nine, eight months, but uh, in phase three testing, crizotinib proved far superior to uh, standard second-line chemotherapy in individuals that already received platinum-based regimens. So you see a response rate of 65% uh, or so compared to 15, 20% for chemo and uh, a near tripling of uh, progression-free survival from less than three months to 7.7 .7 months. So this is very exciting. Uh, it came shortly after the identification of EGFR mutations and we realized we had a second well-defined group of patients with a unique oncogenic driver, in this case ALK rearrangements, who would respond uniquely to a pill, not to toxic cytotoxic combinations, but to a simple pill.